is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 12th of June. And the early economic numbers uh, appear to be rather benign. Market shot up. The Dow is up 260 points at 39,007. Now, look at these candles. The Dow itself, and this is the Dow 30. To me, the Dow 30 represents a huge chunk of the general economy. And this is saying that from the 40,077 high of the 20th of May down to the almost round number 38,000 low that was made uh, 28th, uh, sorry, the 30th of May, <coughs> excuse me, you've gone to a gray A, pull back for a peak A, now you've gone to a gray B, just barely above at 39,120, above four days ago, the high of that day. The MACD is starting to improve, but it hasn't crossed positive. The stochastic is still way down at 43%. The on-balance volume is pretty good. The relative strength has been improving, but it's still way under where it was at the high of May the 20th. So this says to me, look at this whole smorgasbord of, of entities, the, uh, the different sectors, and within the sectors, different stocks. And you'll see that stocks that, and ETFs that are making new highs, the, the, the meme, the, the way one phrases it forever, has been stocks that make new highs continue to do so until they change course. Stocks that make new lows tend to do that until they make a distinctive change of course. Well, in this particular instance, you've got the Dow, very strong today, it's up to 241. The S&P, so this is a fascinating, look, the Dow's up 0.62%. The S&P is 1.08% at an all-time high, breaking out to this new high above all the resistance levels. That's really good. Look, it went right into the inside track repellent zone. Now it's popped above it. Weekly charts still looking very good. Monthly charts very good. You've got the QQQ up 1.3%, up 6 at 4.74. All-time high. Uh, this has gone to a leg D. You've And the, the weekly chart is still very strong, so is the monthly. Now, this is going to be very interesting. The IWM. And one of the things that I said to subscribers is, you know, this Russell 2000 we had, and we took, a, we, we raised our stops, and we got out of it with, with gains. But I, I would love to have kept it, I said, because I think it's slowly repairing all the damage and it's starting to hold up a lot better than one would expect if it was the weak link. It isn't so much the weak link anymore, even though on the short-term basis it was making lower lows and lower highs, went right to the, let's look at this trend line, this channel wave inside track propellant zone. And what does it do today? It gaps up from yesterday's low at about 198.40. It hit 206.72. It's at 206.03. It's up 5.93 right now. It's gone right to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. It popped its head above it, but we'll see the day's young. Let's see where it lands up. And that weekly chart, the nine period moving average is still green, even with the pullbacks. And that's what I'm saying that this is a fascinating market because the areas that have been very weak and that have been repairing the damage slowly. And the areas that are very strong, now I can go to this that I've been wanting to talk about, the SMHs that have been leaders all the way up have been hinting that if they go to new highs, other sectors of the market should join them. And that's exactly what's happened. Up 7.65 at 263.10. So this is a leg D, all-time high as we're speaking, up 2.98%. So I said the IWM was strong. Look at this. Very, very short. But he has a fascinating thing. Look, NVIDIA made an all-time high uh, at 
five sessions ago, and today the high is 125.19, still 21 cents from making a new all-time high, but fabulous action. And this is after the split. So if you go back and look historically, and I'm just doing this more by memory than anything else. Of course, you shouldn't do that. You should use statistics. But I am going to say that in my recollection, because I, this is very important to me, because I land up having to notate the entire chart, daily, weekly, monthly, 120-minute charts, because when you go from a split, the notation, because all of my notation is hand done, it's not automated. It doesn't drag itself down to the highest, to the to the bar peak, and the quarter of an inch above put a letter A. I have to bring everything down or renotate. So I know this well that very often within a fairly short period of time, stocks that have a split very often have some kind of a consolidation. And that's all I'm saying, that there's a consolidation. But the other thing is outstanding stocks, stocks that have very high PEs, stocks that are right on the forefront, cutting edge of a technology or something that's in great demand, when they have a split, when you go back two, three years, Don, those prices come right back. Uh, look, here's the SMHs. And I can't remember what happened with the SMH. Why? There was this uh, notation change because I, I don't think it had it. I can't remember anymore. It, it had a split. Look, everything's written up there. There's E slash B. And then he has your, your F. And that's where it was. Yeah, it must have been some kind of a split. Whatever it is, those notations become very important. Um, and therefore, I do remember quite well when I have to make those changes. And I'm just saying, I'm watching this because I don't have any sense. Now, let me just do this for one second. The 914 period moving average, the SMHs, not even a clue uh, whether or not there's a turn down, let alone green turn to pink by going under the 14 period moving average. This is a really strong chart daily. Dow, INDU. Pink, nine period moving average, struggling. AS has gone, the price has gone above, but that pink nine period moving average is in force. IWM, pink, and then what do you get? A whopper of a move today. Is that going to change to green again? We'll see. We've done this before where uh, it was pink and then it went green and it only went, sorry, it was pink, spiked higher, and then changed to green. So let's just see what happens. Yeah, I personally, I would love to see the Russell uh, 2000 start to, no, it doesn't have to lead. It just has to show some independence so that it can move very independently and very strongly. I have to put together KRE. The KRE is the regional bank sector. Come on, where are you? There it is. Uh, this is the regional bank S&P spider fund. Pink, 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 and a big spike today. It's up 151, up 3.26% at 4782. I want to see this go green. And let's just look at the uh, XLF, which had a little problem the other day. We're pulling back quite sharply. Pink, it's up uh, only 0.80%, 0 0.8, up 33 cents at 4117. Interesting. I like what's happening here. This is a very good sign. The market's moving well. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Dow's up 217, SPs up 62. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So just a couple of questions that I've got. Let's get right to them. So um, I, I'll do this before we finish up with the different indices. Um, we're going to look at CRISPR here. CRISPR is doing well. It's up 2.63, up 4.19%. At 64.92, this is a leg. See, I drew this in um, one that I had considered for subscribers, and I've decided that uh, there were other areas. But look at this um, it did a beautiful cup formation, it did from the plumb line low to the left side high that I was looking at, and that doji candle right there uh, that was also on the 200 period moving average at that particular time. It's gone above that. Looking good. The next level of resistance will be the high that was made on the 4th of April of 67.23. Today's high so far is 65.59. And it's just stopping at the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart. Very nice action. I should also mention key support. Key support is in the 60 um, to 64.99. Key support is in the 61.80 to 60.30 area just at this particular moment. Uh, question, another question. Let me find it if I can. Give me a second here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so mentioned, we, we discussed this. I was asked about it the other day. We went through it in great detail. I'm putting it in the wrong place. Let me put it here. Was Bion, B-Y-O-N is the uh, symbol. B-Y-O-N is trading right now. <clears throat> it's up 41 cents at 15.65 and did I forget to put in what is called I think it's Beyond Ink yep it's called Beyond Ink and that's uh, Limonis uh, is running it or he's a big deal in it and he always is a big deal wherever he goes so let's see if this is going to work out Beyond Ink they have a couple of companies under their roof um, yes so I'm I, I suggested that it was the spike to the bottom has to be met immediately with buying and it has to have a higher high. Then it has to hit the nine period moving average, which is pink and is at, at 15.27. And then it needs to tag at 15.56, sorry, 15.66, that area. It needs to tag that 14 period exponential moving average. That's the black line because the pink is way under the black. So that's very negative. 
And it wasn't good enough just to tag it. It needed to hold, and then it needed to have a couple of bars in the 15, I think I said 1560 area, so that it uses the support, sorry, it uses the resistance that was at uh, on the 3rd of June at 1605, not necessarily as support, but the area of 16 becomes like a little a, a springboard, like a trampoline. Every time it just dips down, it wants to push and then push higher. So it looked great early this morning. It hit 16.15. Now it's 15.69. That's about a dollar lower. Um, so this is what I'm saying. When you, when you the severity of the selling is such that all the previous rallies failed at a peak A and didn't go much over an A. Maybe it went to a B, but mostly it was an A, and they went to lower lows. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take almost a, a, a peak A and then a pullback with a very small pullback and then a strong leg C to really break the trend so that you can actually draw in like the hull of a boat. You can draw the left side, quarter, that's the quarter of the semicircle, and then you can start putting in the right side. We haven't even gotten to that yet. It's an attempt, but it's only an attempt. But what was important is that the low that was made back in October – that was October, the week of the 27th at 13.71. I may as well just type that in because this could come up like Palantir keeps coming up. So let's just do that. And that's 10, I think I said 27, 2, 3. That low was tested uh, three days ago. And that's what we were looking at. The low that was tested was at 13.95. Uh, so that's higher. So, so far... That is a positive. I'll just type in here 13.95. Uh, I think I said 95. All right. So that's good. Um, so it's a work in progress. And that's what I mentioned before. It is a work in progress. Because it's a work in progress, it means don't rely on one or two sudden either spike up, spikes up or spikes down. <clears throat> At this particular point, it is a trajectory of higher lows and higher highs on a consistent basis in the daily we haven't even got the first trough in the weekly. This is not a trough. It has to be one penny above this week's uh, low of 13.95. It has to be 13.96 as a low all of next week. And then all of a sudden you can call that a trough. All right, so it's a work in progress. Palantir was the other one. Palantir, if I can type it in the right place. PLTR, there we go. Yes, so now that's made a higher high. This is now a leg E. This is the first time that you've seen follow through in Palantir after a very strong move up that's given a chunk back. This is now a determined move to the upside. Now I can draw in a different pattern. I can say, finally, I can give you a U-shaped pattern. Not exactly a U, but it looks close to a U. That suggests this entire area between 22, 2320 and 2270, uh, I'd make a 2263, is going to be uh, a good support area. And finally, you can see the weekly chart is making a better, there you are, a better cup formation. Good. I like that. So that's Palantir. That's the other one I need to write down here. Palantir. Next question came in uh, was a question. Yes, uh, about the what happened to the yields. So obviously, if the uh, if all the economic reports, the statistics that came in, majority of them are pointing to lower prices, that's going to help the interest rate. So the TLT is a big move with, uh, up a dollar twenty nine and ninety three point twelve, trying to get to the ninety three fifty eight two hundred period exponential moving average. That's going to be a big deal. Why? Because if it's able to trade in the 9420 area between, so today is not even an hour into the session. Let's go all the way into next week by Tuesday. If by Tuesday the yields are actually pushing much higher, you're going to look at the ITB. ITB is the iShares US Home Construction ETF. Look at that big move today at 5.6%. 5.71 at 107.32 days young. But here again, there is a chance that this could become, you need just a little more evidence, you need one more week 
of a higher high of this week's high, and you can start talking about an H pattern that was unsuccessful but became successful because it's turned around and it's changed from the arch formation to a deep cup. All right, so that's important, and it is a peak D in the week and the monthly. Uh, this is the iShares U.S. Home Construction ETF. This is really important that we've got that. And we did have, um, should I do that now? Yeah, why not? We did have this arch formation. You can see it. I mentioned it in the day, in the weekly chart, but I'll actually draw it in the daily. So this is what we call the dreaded H pattern. It went, it went under the left side low of April at about 100, just under 102. It went down to the 100 level in the last cluster formation around about June the 10th. And look at this big spike today, a uh, very sharp move to the upside. Can it close at some point in June above 112? That's the big question for me, but it's a great bounce if you're looking at right now. Dow's up 217, SMB's up 69, Basil Chapman. Be back in a moment. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
Hello, fellow travelers. Dr. Nick, this is our dollars of 210, giving back some, not much. And the S&P is strong at 69. Now, the question came in, uh, would I be looking at a short on the uh, um, on the e-mini S&P? So look at this. Since that big gap, you've got to appreciate, for those of you who are watching, this single leg up actually rallied really strongly. It was up maybe 38 to 42 points, and then it went red. It just suddenly turned down, and then it came right back again, roaring. So that just tells you, kind of wiped out longs and shorts, and now it's a fresh bunch of players. But that's not the fresh bunch of players. 10, 20 in the morning. Now you've got your new players. Now there's the people that have said, let's see how the market's uh, resolved, what's going on, where are we? Um, let's see what we want to do. Let's look at our positions, assess everything. So 10, 20 to round about, I'd even say 110 is probably uh, and the next part of the session. So now what we're looking at is, so it ran up. Whoops, what did I say? Oh, order entries. No, no, cl close that. Okay, you just get out of that. Um, so a little pullback, but look at that nine-period moving average in the one-minute chart. Look at the nine-minute moving average in the five-minute chart. Look at the nine-minute in the ten-minute chart. To, to get the, the five-minute to go pink, you would have to see this one-minute chart just tank and f slide about 20 points to at least the 50, uh, 54 30 level. Um, and that would start to 54 30 would take you to there. And that would say, all right, the green is probably getting very close to just about to go, go pink. So a lot of work needs to be done. So it's a work in progress. So my suspicion is, if anything, you should just wait. First of all, the trajectory is up. I mean, when you've got yields pulling back like this, when you've got the dollar, they, they just do this on a fundamental basis. When you've got those core ingredients that really help markets move higher and wait for any excuse to move higher and they're taking that excuse, and if you've got leadership like the uh, uh, SMHs are up eight points at this particular, I, I, just think of it as either just a near-term quick trade, but in the meantime, the trajectory right now is just to hold the green line and even treat it as a five-minute chart and say, hey, uh, it's going higher right now. That's all I can say. Maybe by another 20 minutes, I'll be able to say something else. Um, but the one-minute chart is not good enough. You've got to get the change in the five. It's like the daily, weekly, monthly. So I've been talking about this for ages now. I've been saying in the weekly charts, um, the weekly charts are all really strong. I have no signals whatsoever on the, on the short side, but to get the sell signal, you have to get the dailies to turn down, and some of them were a little bit vulnerable, but boy, they changed that, and now they're looking quite strong. A question came in about Nike. Nike, sports equipment, B-shares, sports and sportswear. Um, so here it is, leg B in the weekly chart. But that, look, weekly chart, but that nine period moving average is still very ugly. And that's what we're looking at in this particular market. It is so, um, it, it rotates, but mostly it's been very market specific. So that in this particular instance, Nike's had a really good run from the 90 level up to the 98. Now it's pulling back, ugly candle today down 92 cents at 94.95. But it is a work in progress. It is trying to move to the upside. Monthly chart looks lousy. Weekly chart technically looks lousy, but the price is moving higher, and that's going to help at some point turn the pink nine-period moving average uh, green above the 14-period moving average. But it's a work in progress. And at this particular point, I would just put this in and say, I think that Nike is kind of stuck in a range, and this is the range that we're looking at for the next, uh, I'd even say, three to four weeks. And probably 90 is the low at the moment. And 100 is the high, and it could just be stuck in that in the in the middle there. Next question came in. Could I look at? Um, let me just see if that was a question for me. Yes. Okay. L L Y F T. Actually, I'm looking at a couple of things. I'll include Lyft. I'll, I'll first do Uber because there was a question that came in a couple of days ago, and I said I'd follow through. Yeah. So this is nice action with Uber. This is leg, whoops, that's not an A. Remember, the bar that makes the low cannot be the high unless it had a peak D. So that means you have to wait for this. And that was the uh, low of 62.91. Uh, 
Uh, on the 3rd of June, it was 62.94. So this becomes, hmm, interesting, huh? Um, getting 69, yeah, we go. 69, 69, 69, 71, 69, 69. That's what I thought. So I'm going to call that an A. I'm going to call that a B. Yes, so this is a nice change in, uh, hmm, look at that, a change in the daily chart from a very negative to a positive. And that just says that the area going into the low, into 70, so 7198, but uh, 69, 70 to 70 area, that's kind of support. The weekly chart has this pattern that I like to look at always. It's the Chapman Wave falling X formation. It's just drawn in over here, right there. And it's wor working its way towards the upper part of the range, right there. So, yeah, it's starting to improve. So Uber, I would say, is a, has a daily change of di direction to a buy signal because the stochastic's at 90.77. So all of us says buy signal. Let me just make a note of that here. Uber buy signal. And the, the weekly chart needs a lot of work to go for, to, to even get it to a buy signal. But the daily is the one that will lead. And if it pops over the high that was made on May the, May the 6th, that was 71, round number open, and 73.82, yeah, if we can get to 74, I would say by next Tuesday, by because coming Tuesday, um, that's going to be really important, and that'll help the weekly chart. So this is a work in progress. It's starting to make a turn in the daily chart, and that's going to help the weekly chart. So that was Lyft. Uh, is the next one, that, that's the one I was asked about right now. Lyft is a different uh, kettle of fish altogether. It held the 200 period moving average. It's having a nice session today. To tell you the truth, if it was between the two, yes, I know there's a difference in price between 1580 and was it uh, 71? Yeah, 71. But it's the pro it's the pattern that I'm looking at. I would put Uber as the lead. Uber um, rides, food delivery, etc. Yes, and um, oh, is it a buy here? Hmm, Lyft. Um, yes, I I know the thinking sometimes is that. You don't want to actually overpay. No, no. You don't want to pay a high price. That's not overpay. Overpay means it's expensive and that um, you're doing you're doing a bit of uh, you're doing a little bit of analysis here that is fundamental. I can't do that. I'm just saying that on a price basis, I think it looks worth it from everything that I've read. That's all I can say. Lyft, on the other hand, looks a little under uh, under resourced. You know, I'm. Is it a buy? I would nibble here at 1577 because the market is really trying to rally and just put in a 60 cent stop, but it needs much more work. I'll be right back. The Gold back. Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, I just wanted to show you guys the one minute chart. See how it's starting to turn down. You see the S that means the 914 is becoming negative, but it's the one minute chart. You have to wait for the full minute to see if that it's going to hold. That's number one. But you see the auto channel wave automated support level at 5448.20. Remember, this doesn't, uh, it doesn't move in 25 cents. This is an automated thing. So 5448.20. Uh, and until you can go to 54.46, so you go one step at a time. You have to break that. You have to turn that support level into resistance. And then you can start looking and look at that five-minute chart. It's just not showing nothing. Like 9 p moving average is still very strong. So it's always a work in progress. If you do this, I would prefer to, look at, to be looking at the short side. That's a serious short side. I don't mean just a real quick trade here. Um, if the... Um, Price starts to go to the 54.32 level at any point in the next hour, and uh, you're getting the green five-minute chart, the green nine-period moving average getting closer and closer to crossing negative uh, on the black. So let's go back to our story. Right. So these are the techniques we use all the time. So I wanted to show you something very interesting. Um, so lift. I would say if you want to start a position, it's not my favorite, but your risk reward here, you know exactly where it is. In fact, I'm going to say it's not just what you can see. Um, if you nibble at 1575, I wouldn't do anything more than starting a very small position, a nibble. And even then, I would have a stop of 1536. Why? Because this today, after a move like this, if it gives back so quickly 40 cents or 50 cents, it says, you know what, it's not ready for prime time. So one step at a time, and that's all I can say. But I, I like Uber. Um, just because of the chart formation of the follow through gap up today after a previous gap up that didn't even get filled. And that says to me that's good. So, uh, with that said, uh, there are a couple of other questions. Yeah, FXI, that's the uh, China large caps. Here we go, F, FXI. Uh, yeah, it's just going nowhere. It's got made a peak F top, and now it's consolidating. It's way off the 20.86 January low. It screamed all the way to the um, 29s. Now it's at 26.57. Um, it is in a sell mode in the daily chart. So um, actually, if you don't mind, I just need to do this for a moment. I did, in fact, grab that, but I want to get out of it now. Just, uh, just go grab, 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 pull back. Excuse me a moment. Just, there it goes. Okay, good. I just wanted to make something from that while I'm doing the show. There are, we're out. So yeah, I did. I did that. That's the only way I like to do things. Look, one minute chart gave the sell signal, cross negative. I could have kept it. But, and you had, that's the only way you can start off. You start off and you see how low it can go. I just thought, you know what? I don't like to interfere while I'm doing the uh, the show. Um, so let's just do a couple of things here. What we're looking at is, so the questions came in, 
What about Apple? So FXI, I'd say 26 to 25 and a half is going to be key support. But at any point, if it starts to trade on a weekly basis above 28.30, that's going to be another continuation pattern to the upside. But right now, it's just digesting gains. Um, so Apple, let's do this. Apple, all-time high. Fabulous action. It broke the monthly inside track repellent zone. Really good. Up eight today. It was up uh, eight or nine yesterday. Outstanding action. So Apple never, never. I was at the Apple store the other day, just briefly. I, I have no Apple products. My wife does. But I was looking. You know, they've leapfrogged in technique. You, uh, you, some time ago when I went there and I wanted to, uh, I went to the iPad, the notepad, whatever it is, I tried to open it and it just, I mean, I use Android, so it's all kind of foreign to me, but it became so foreign, it wasn't just like a foreign language, it was like, a, like a, another linguist uh, exercise. I could, it was, they have sophisticated that stuff, and I heard uh, different uh, people talking to uh, their um, customers who are asking questions, it is really, it's amazing. It's like uh, on a little phone, you've got an entire resource. It's just what a world we've changed and AI is gonna make that even more different. Just in terms of smoothness, etc. it still has to do with human, human brains at this particular point. So um, yeah, let's just do this. Uh, I had a couple of questions about the A's. So there's Am Apple, strong, Amazon, AMZN, uh, Amazon's trading right now. It's just very slowly working its way within a rectangle formation. And usually I, I put the rectangle and then I, over the past couple of months now, I've colored it because when it's, it can be at a high and normally you th I, I would have had it as a pink re a resistance level. I found for a while now that you've got to identify it for this, for me right now, this is a high level consolidation. So I'm keeping it green in the, in the monthly chart, uh, in the weekly chart. Monthly chart is a leg C, so it should still go higher in 2024. And the daily chart working very hard to try to get to 191.70, the most recent high. I'm looking at Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Uh, Matter, I haven't looked at for a little while here. Meta is also the exact same thing. Got the rectangle formation, you know, the the what, the deep rectangle formation, often starts to work its way higher, higher highs and higher lows. Says that there's a chance that it can go, it could even go to a leg D in that same time frame. I used to always say no, you have to use a smaller time frame. But the reality is uh, that this is working its way to the all-time high that was made right there. The week of the 5th of April at 530.70. I may as well type that in, 530.70. 530.70. So all of this is suggesting that the buying is getting very close on a purely visual level to getting somewhat toppy over the next maybe even a week, maybe three to five days, maybe even just by Tuesday. All I can say is that going to new highs is really important. Is the daily chart... F or is it a C? I'm going to call this an F slash C. I think my, my, my bias right now, the daily chart is to call it a C, but I'm putting in the alternate count. Um, why? Because the MACD has just continued higher, so I can keep that notation going, um, just to alphabetize, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And the stochastic's fabulous at 91. On balance volume is hinting that we're starting to run out of energy, and the relative strength is very good. None of these have gotten overbought in the relative strength. So that's a matter. I don't know. I, you know, I still like to say, uh, you know, all of these like Google, matter. Why do they change their names for goodness sake? All right. Matter should still go to a leg C in the monthly chart and then do a D. So this is really strong. Hey, Microsoft, this is a stalk leg formation. I said yesterday when I was talking to Tom that this should go above the high that was made. Um, at 433.60 four to start a leg E. This is the Shen Wave stalk leg formation. This is the neck. We're going to now monitor the neck in the weekly chart really closely. But the question is, is this an old G or a brand new A in the daily chart? All I can say is all the technicals are really strong. If this is only an A, we couldn't get the peak D until next week sometime. Not next week. I mean, the week 
yeah, the week after probably. So that's really very good action in Microsoft. I'll be right back. That's our chapter Tiger Admissions Hour. Dow's up 240, SB's up 65. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LarryJune24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So this is what I'm looking at, Jen. I'm just using this as kind of a nice benchmark. Too. So think of this one as a one-minute, five-minute, ten-minute. Think of it as a daily, weekly. This one here is just a guide for me. I often have it, but I don't always use it. This gives you automated chat with support and resistance levels, the one-minute e-mini chart. I could have anything here. Uh, I've got this, and I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it in a different uh, time frame. So what we're looking at here is slowly there's a rollover. And remember, I say 10.20 in the morning starts the next session. So we're going to see what happens, waiting for the Fed. So this is what we, what we want to be looking at. Um, if the... Um, now it's starting to deepen a little bit and with a pink nine period moving average of the one minute chart you haven't yet got the five think of this as daily weekly right so i'm saying to you and i said before that you would have to see the 34 i'd say 32 level somewhere around 32 it's at 54 54 32 it's at 54 43 right now to really start to come down and then you've still got the 10-minute chart, which look look how wide the 9 is from the 14. So that's exactly the same thing that I'm trying to emphasize when we're looking at all these different instruments. Yeah, let's just do this again. Uh, the, the Dow, pink, 
nine period moving average. This is just three lines. The thick gray line is whatever we're following in this case, the daily chart of the Dow. The, the green is when the nine is over the 14 and pink when the nine is under the 14. And you can see kind of weak. It's up uh, 205 right now. Look how far the S&P is. This is a daily chart, let alone a weekly chart from either touching the green or certainly breaking under the, the, bl the black to even give a chance for the green to turn pink. Look at the QQQ. So it's a work in progress here. And that just says to me at this particular point, no matter what happens, what he said in, by the Fed, you're going to have to see a give back, not of the Dow, that's already weaker, but the S&P is up 60. You're going to have to see the, the um, S&P only up 25 or less after 2.45 this morning to say, uh-oh, now we've got a change of trend. So keep that in mind. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter, and I will see you tomorrow.